Did you know that beneath the glitzy neon lights of Las Vegas, there exists a network of underground tunnels that is home to hundreds of people? Welcome to Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps. Known for its vibrant nightlife, endless entertainment and high-stakes gambling, this city is a playground for adults. But let's peel back the layers of this glittering metropolis and uncover its surprising secrets. Imagine, if you will, beneath the bustling streets and towering casinos, a labyrinth of tunnels. This isn't a scene from a dystopian novel, it's a reality for hundreds of people who call these tunnels home. Miles of concrete channels form a hidden city beneath Sin City, a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour above ground. This unexpected side of Las Vegas sets the stage for a journey into the city's lesser-known aspects. From hidden gems to bizarre discoveries, Las Vegas is more than meets the eye. So, are you ready? Join us as we delve deeper into the secrets of this fascinating city. Las Vegas, a city known for its casinos and nightlife, hides an entire city beneath its surface. But this is not a city of glitz and glamour, rather it's a city of survival, a refuge for those who've found themselves living on the fringes of society. Underneath the bustling streets and neon lights of Las Vegas lies a network of storm drain tunnels stretching out for over 200 miles. These tunnels were built in the mid-20th century as a solution to the flash flood problem the city faced. The desert, after all, is not used to absorbing large amounts of water in a short period. Over time, these tunnels, initially meant to protect the city, have become a sanctuary for those seeking shelter. The inhabitants of this hidden city, often referred to as mole people, have created a life for themselves in these dark, damp corridors. There are stories, many stories, of people who have found a home in these tunnels. Some have lived here for decades, while others have just recently found refuge. One such story is of a man named Steve, who has been living in these tunnels for over 10 years. Steve, like many others, ended up in the tunnels after a series of unfortunate events. He has built a life in the shadows, creating a home complete with a bed, a small kitchen, and even a library of sorts. Despite the harsh conditions, he's made a home in the unlikeliest of places. Yet, life in the tunnels is not easy. The risk of flash floods is ever-present and the inhabitants must be ready to evacuate at a moment's notice. The lack of sunlight, the dampness, the constant noise from the traffic above, all add to the difficulty of life underground. However, despite the challenges, the inhabitants of this hidden city show remarkable resilience and a strong sense of community. They share resources, look out for each other, and even host communal meals. But these secret tunnels are just the beginning. The city of Las Vegas has more secrets waiting to be discovered. So, stay tuned as we delve deeper into the hidden and unexpected side of Sin City. Where do neon signs go to die? In Las Vegas, they find a second life at the Neon Boneyard. Imagine a place where the bright, buzzing neon signs that once lit up the Las Vegas Strip in a kaleidoscope of color now rest in their retirement. Welcome to the Neon Boneyard, an outdoor museum where these retired signs find their final resting place. The history of Las Vegas is a tale told through neon. From the first neon sign that flickered to life in the late 1930s, to the towering, flashing displays of today, neon has always been a part of the city's DNA. It's the city's way of saying, here we are, come and join the fun. The Neon Boneyard is a testament to this history. It's a place where the past comes alive, where each sign has a story to tell. From the iconic silver slipper to the Sahara's golden camel, these signs are the silent witnesses to the city's changing fortunes and shifting landscapes. But the Boneyard isn't just a graveyard for old signs, it's also a celebration of Las Vegas's unique art form. The signs here are not just advertising tools, but works of art, each one meticulously crafted with glass tubes filled with neon, argon, or other rare gases, all bent and shaped by hand. Walk through the Boneyard and you'll see the evolution of Las Vegas and its neon artistry. From the simple single-colored signs of the early days to the complex, multicolored spectacles of the late 20th century, and then to the LED screens of today. But more than anything, the Neon Boneyard is a place of reverence. A place where the old is celebrated and the past is remembered. Where each sign, no matter how rusted or broken, is honored for its contribution to the city's vibrant history. In Las Vegas, even the signs have a story to tell. In a city that never sleeps, finding a late-night bite is essential. But did you know about the secret pizza place inside the Cosmopolitan Hotel? Welcome to the Cosmopolitan, a dazzling star in the Las Vegas galaxy. 
Its glittering facade houses an array of high-end restaurants and bars. But there's one spot that's not listed on the hotel's directory. A hidden gem known only to those with a nose for intrigue and a craving for delicious pizza. This is the secret pizza place. Tucked away on the third level of the Cosmopolitan Hotel. The secret pizza place doesn't even have a name. There's no flashy neon sign pointing the way, no advertising, no website. It's a secret, remember? But for those in the know, it's a must-visit spot for a late-night bite. To find this clandestine eatery, you'll need to navigate the glitzy labyrinth of the Cosmopolitan. Look for an unmarked hallway adorned with vintage vinyl records, a sly nod to the pizza place's New York City roots. Follow your nose and you'll find yourself in a cozy, no-frills pizzeria, serving up some of the best slices in Sin City. The pizzas here are New York style, thin and crispy with just the right amount of chew. The toppings are fresh and flavorful, and the slices are generous. You can choose from a selection of classic favorites or create your own masterpiece. There's even a secret menu for those daring enough to ask. What makes this place truly special, aside from the thrill of discovering it, is its authenticity. It's a slice of New York in the heart of Las Vegas. The ambiance is warm and welcoming, the staff friendly and knowledgeable, and the pizza, well, it's simply divine. So next time you find yourself in the city that never sleeps and your stomach starts to rumble, remember the secret pizza place. It's not just a meal, it's an experience, a hidden treasure in a city of bright lights and grand spectacles. It's a slice of New York in the heart of Las Vegas. You might not associate Las Vegas with wildlife, but there's more to Sin City than meets the eye. When you think of Las Vegas, the first things that come to mind are probably the glittering lights, the clinking of slot machines, and the bustling crowds of tourists. But what if I told you that there's an entirely different side to this city, one that's a bit more natural? Yes, you heard it right. Las Vegas is home to a surprising amount of wildlife, some of which you might not expect to find in the middle of the desert. Take, for instance, the desert tortoise. This resilient creature is a staple of the Mojave Desert, which surrounds Las Vegas. These tortoises have adapted to the harsh desert conditions, able to live in areas with little water and extreme temperatures. Their burrows, which can be as deep as six feet, provide shelter from the blazing sun and chilly desert nights. Though they might be slow moving, these tortoises are certainly survivors, having roamed the earth for over 200 million years. Then there are the flamingos. Yes, flamingos. You might be thinking, flamingos? In the desert? But it's true. The Flamingo Hotel and Casino, one of the city's most iconic landmarks, houses a wildlife habitat that's home to a flock of Chilean flamingos. These vibrant birds with their pink feathers and graceful movements provide a stark contrast to the desert landscape. They're a testament to the city's ability to blend the natural and the man-made in unexpected ways. And let's not forget about the bighorn sheep, the Nevada state animal. These majestic creatures can be found in the rocky terrain surrounding the city, their curved horns a sight to behold. They've adapted to the rugged landscape, able to scale steep cliffs with ease. So, the next time you're in Las Vegas, take a break from the casinos and the shows. Venture out into the desert or even just take a stroll through one of the city's wildlife habitats. You never know what you might find. Las Vegas is full of surprises, isn't it? Las Vegas, the city of lights, holds many secrets beneath its glittering facade. This metropolis, known for its vibrant nightlife, hides a different world beneath the surface. The vast network of underground tunnels that run beneath the city streets is just one of its lesser-known aspects. Then there's the Neon Boneyard, a graveyard of sorts for the city's retired neon signs, each telling a story of a bygone era. And who could forget the secret pizza place? This hidden culinary treasure serves some of the best pizzas in town, if you know where to look. Finally, the city surprises us with its unusual wildlife. Amidst the hustle and bustle, nature has carved out its own niche, with a variety of species calling Las Vegas home. So next time you visit Las Vegas, remember, there's more to this city than meets the eye.